In this video, I'll show you how to take a final logo design and use the Asset Export option in Illustrator to save a few different file types. To do this, once you've got your final logo done, um, I'll just click and drag over it. A few tips that you want to make sure. You want to make sure you have outline around all of your text. You have no strokes within your design, so all these are separate shapes. Um, and that way it is scalable. And one way you can test that it's scalable is shrink it down, enlarge it, and you want to make sure that the, the design kind of stays, stays together as things get bigger, things enlarge, as it gets um, shrunk down, you don't see anything, um, any mistakes happening in there, any warping or thin lines or anything like that. So once you are ready to move on, um, you're looking for this thing called Asset Export. And you can see you might have the thumbnail off to the right. Another place to find it is go to Window, scroll down to Asset Export. Now, what it's going to do is it's going to tell you exactly what you need to do. Okay, The thing that's most important is you hold down Option and you drag your artwork into this space here to generate one single asset. If you don't do that, you're going to have your logo in a few different parts. So I'm going to select everything, hold down Option, I'm going to click and drag it and place it in here. Now I can double click under Asset 1 and I can rename it. This is really helpful if you rename it on the front end. Um, okay, there we go. And then the next thing you're going to look for are all your options down here. Okay, so I'm just going to close all these and I believe you're going to see something like this when you first start. Now the format is what you have for different file types. Alright, so in my class I teach students that we need to save it as a PDF, an SVG, a JPEG 100, and a PNG. The SVG and the PDF are both vector um, files which are going to be scalable. They're great for printing. PNG is going to have um, an invisible background to it and it's good for web use. Uh, a JPEG is going to flatten the whole image and it's going to have the white background behind it. But it's also good for using on the web platforms too. Alright, so what I want to do is I want to start with the PNG. All right, so that's going to do one PNG. The next thing I want to do is I want to click Add Scale. Now the second thing I'm going to do is a JPEG 100. And next one I'm going to do is SVG, Standard Vector Graphic. And then finally a PDF. You'll notice for the vectors, the vector files, it doesn't give me a scale option over here. Um, for the raster graphics, uh, which means it's using pixels, it's giving me a scale option. So when I have one X for both of these, it's just it's going to show me um, the same size and the same scale as how I designed it. So I think this instance it might be close to like five inches by five inches, and that's what these files should be. If I want it to be twice the size, I can click two X. I want it to be four times the size, I click four X. I want it to be half the size. 0.5x, so on and so forth. You'll kind of get the hang of it. Um, now I want to be able to export these. And right now my export button is grayed out because I need to select this. So I'm going to go ahead and click that. Once I have it selected, you see the blue bounding box. Now I have an option to click that export button. So I'm going to click export. And it's going to give me uh, destination of where I want to export these to. So for the moment I'm just going to stick with my Creative Cloud files. I'll create a new folder and I'm going to call it Cab Final Logo. Great coffee company by the way, by yours truly. Um, click Create and then I'll go ahead and click Choose and now it's quickly exporting those four files to that folder. Now for me to check those, I'm going to go ahead and open up my Finder window, go to my Creative Cloud Files, go to that Cab Final Logo folder, and there you will see 
it created a few different folders for me. But there are all those files right there. If I double click on the SVG, it will open up Illustrator there. Open it, double click on the PDF. Preview will open that. If I open up the PNG, you'll see with a gray background, which is showing me that it has a transparent background. And then that JPEG is going to show me with a white background that file. So those are my few different options, a really fast, neat way for Illustrator. Um, that Illustrator has been designed to help me take my final logo designs and quickly export them in lots of different file formats, which are useful for clients. Thanks for watching.